They were still far from the mountain castle when Krom caught the beast. Anug had spoken true. This was... There was no honor in sneaking, but a charge was pointless against such walls. So Akrog decided to follow the shadows. He and his warriors would sneak into the fortress, free their kin, and start a riot there. Halfway up the mountain, he knew that Bugwa smiled upon his plan. The clouds drew together and the rain set in. The Chainers would not know what hit them, and in they are. Good thinking, trusted one. These greenskins are in for a surprise. Crumb, hmm. can he scent their kin yet? He can, but the rain makes it hard to say where they are. But they are cl Well then, cross sticks ready. No one here! Head towards... Look was... That... Cyrus, kill us! Chieftain, get the chieftain over here! Cross them! They must not get away! Well, old friend. Look, the hex wall is fading. Not the others, though. Come, they should speak to Julag. Let Grungwa. They. they came for them. But how? How they find him? Krum caught the scent of the beaks. Speak, Julok. Where are Nurbok and the others? Only Mech and Taka left, Chieftain. They take them away with Nurbok. That... That bring disgrace... Krum is sure Zat fought bravely. What happened, though? Why left they... Nurbok, he heard rumors about a pack of chainers roaming the jungle again. He was worried they would sniff out the tribe camp, so he took his skull crushers and they went out to... They had just caught the scent of the Greenskins, but then suddenly Nurbok fell. The Greenskin Boom Rocks. <sighs> Warrior Barracks Blood must have the Baraka dead. But. No. No, cannot be. This hex wall that kept them trapped. Akrog is not sure how he banished it. Knows Julog? Julog knows nothing about hexes, but he thinks they are bound to the Greenskin Elders. Wait! Oh, oh the Beaks! They survived! Maybe the Greenskins have shackled them to- Maybe, but this came from the Northern Cliff. Let Crum and Julog go there and free the Beaks. If the Greenskins see the Moonkin coming, they might kill the Beaks before they can free them. Crum will signal Akrog once the beaks are free. Mm. All right. The Moonkin will find... But Crum will be careful. He will be. But the... Intruders! Tiara's tits. The tribe must survive! <laughs> Chieftain, wait. That frontal bone is still alive. What should they do with him? This... Wait. Akrog knows this face. This is What is this? Wait! Wait! Don't kill me! We can talk about this! I... Hold on. I know you. We met in the Axe, remember? Near that backwater village. Akrog remembers it well. The kin traitor. Julog. This brittle bone helped the Greenskins enslave the Moonkin. Mm, it is true. Julog saw him bring two trolls from the mountain yesterday. What? Nonsense. I told you, I only deal in humans. Your kind are my friends, remember? Then why is the slaver here? To discuss a future business opportunity. Look, how about this? If you promise to let me go, I'll tell you where I keep my stash and even give you the key to open it. 
Lots of shiny stuff in there, and lots of scrap. No. The outcast will die. Akrog should have killed him back in the axe. Wit, this is unreasonable. You'll never find my treasure this way. You May the Brittlebone Gods have the mercy he showed not for his own kin. They see? The big hex wall disappeared. Julog is right. They are bound to the shamans. And they know what to know. The shamans free slaves. And Crum and Julog will take care of the beaks. Listen for their signal, Chieftain. It will sound like the cry of an iron beak. Akrog will. Sharp tusks and thick hide. For the Moon Kid! They will regret this. This looks interesting. He will lead the way. What this? No fight, Moonkin! They trolls too! It is pointless! They are slaves! The Greenskins took their minds! Hold on, just for a moment.
Interesting. Probably. Let our grog see. Hmm. An altar. There's hex power. It, this is powerful. Grumwar feels uh, fast, like a viper. He is going. Ready for action. Let Grungwan an altar. This is powerful. Grungwan feels uh, fast, like a viper. Grungwan will go there. He crushed them now. Fangs, get down! Join the world! Smash them! <laughs> Can a troll not rest for a moment? The blood will not get away from Zazka! What by Zarek? They've broken out! Get them! They're in cage! What next? Yes, yes.
Zarat's fangs! Curse! No, I can crush him not there! Maybe Crumbs and Julog's beaks could help, but they have not called yet. Hmm. Blocked. Zazka could dig through. Can Zazka help? At his service. Let our grog see. Ready for action. Let Zazka get a proper look. Moving on. What can he do for good work? Wait, a compliment from Grungwar? Zazka is flattered. This looks as far up as they can go. Let them find Crumb and Julok. He is going. He will lead the way. What is this? Listening. Chieftain! Magwa praised they are well. Crumb heard the fighting and was getting worried. Tell Julog they showed those green skins what a troll's crush stick tastes like, Chieftain. But tell him they made them pay. They did. But it is not over yet. Mm. Who are these, Chieftain? They are not Moon King. They can speak for themselves. He is Nivor of the Bonekin. The slavers held them here, too. Bonekin? Then they survived the attack on Mabwa's cradle? Some did, it is true. Chieftain Cadbrax is also alive. For now- And they will. Grom, a Krog sees they brought no beaks here. Means this they are. Dead? No, quite the opposite. Of course, Master. What should he do? Huh. What is that? Mugwa's tusks. Those are not Moonkin beaks, are they? Hmm. Maybe they are from- They cannot be. Bone- It is true. Those beaks must be from another tribe, and the Greenskins held them in cages with the Moonkins. Julon tamed them. Well, looks like Mugwa smiles on the Moonkin. There is a green-skinned shaman east of here, and he has conjured a great hex wall. Can the beaks help with that? Easy. Julog will handle it. He- Julog will stay here with Krum and guide the beaks, according to the chieftain's signals. Go, chieftain. Kill that shaman. Free chieftain Cabrax and fight don't on it. Sharp tusks and thick hide. You're not getting through here. Not as long as I breathe.
Let's well go! Time to find Cabrax. Grunwa is here. May Magwa guide his hands. It's ready, kid. They are free. But they need to find Cabrax. The Greenskins, they took him to the... Must come. Head towards certain doom. What now, right now? is listening. You find out. Be moving. He might be old, but his tasks are still sharp. Magua, man their flesh. his way. Let him out of For the moon, kid! They will regret this. Go join the world. into their cages. The bones curse them. More of them. Curse them.
<laughs> Sir Chieftain Akrok survived. The bones told him he had, but Cabrax dared not believe them. Hmm. The Moonkin are sorry for what happened to Mugwa's cradle. The burial, it put the Bonekin at great risk, and the shrine. Oh, wipe that glum look from his eyes. Chieftain Narjak Firstborn deserved a proper burial, and Cabrax agreed. Those rotten, brittle bone hunters are to blame. Let Cabrax guess. They are here for their great warrior, no? No, it is true. Cappy has. The Greenskins brought him past the cage, but he was alone. They talked about bringing him to a special place. Let them hope it was a different place than this one. If the Greenskins took Nurbok, then there is no time to waste. Will Cap- Of course he will. There is only one problem. The Greenskins realized what was happening and retreated behind that gate. They are many. Cabrax has a plan. Mm. They need to do what the Greenskins tried in vain and summon Mogwa's cub. He will- But the summoning needs a blood giver, Cabrax knows. No. Narlek will. Cabrax has spoken. Then he errs. If Chieftain Cabrax sacrifices himself, then the Bonekin will be no more. He is the soul of the tribe, the only one who can hear the bones. So he must survive. Please, Cab the Tusk Hunters took his trusted one, and he has nothing. The bones will honor his sacrifice. <gasps> What is needed of him? You will lead the way. Listens to the chieftain's word now. Do it, Chieftain Akrog Bone Crusher. Free their great warrior and make the green skins pay. Ready for action. Easy. Those greenskins are in for a surprise. Still alive? 
drive big blood, make talk. No way. Zaska is listening. Fucking grunt. No bark. Where is he? Don't know who the fuck you're talking about, Grunter. Now shut up and let me die and no time for this. Ah! 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 Ugly, is it not? To be on the other side of the whip for a change. Ah! Ah! I'll talk. I'll oh, fucking... I'll talk. Ah! Ah! The chainers took great warrior Nobok One-Eye. Big, strong, giant crushed... Damn it, I told you, we didn't take him anywhere! Did he say Vakos? Damn right I did! The Grunter who's- Maybe a troll from an enemy tribe? No. Vakos Dark Mind was the name of a famous troll chieftain from the Ice Crawler tribe. Nabok, he. He always revered him from the time they were cubs. Greenskin. What lo- I don't know. I only saw him once. But he was a big one. Nurbok. Mug was bloody up. No. That was unwise, old Grayfur. That green skin might have known more. More lies, maybe. Why would that green skin lie? Vorkos is Nurbok. He betrayed. Ah, that is what the green skin wanted them to believe. Think about it. The Chieftain and Nerbok made peace just days ago. Why would Nerbok betray the Moon? They must have taken Nerbok somewhere. The Moonkin must find him. Then Chieftain Akrag will see they have been lied to. Hmm. And Grumwar just killed the only one who could have told them where Nerbok is. <sighs> well, they need to find him either way. If he is innocent, then to save him. If he is a traitor... Then they need to stop him from telling the Greenskins of the tribe camp. The only question is how- hmm. Perhaps the bones could help. If they have anything that belongs to this Nurbok, the bones might be able to trace its X power They have nothing they do. Here, Nurbok gave this spirit ward to Grongwa when they became each other's trusted one. Let him see. Hmm. This could work. Mm. They will look around the Greenskin tribe camp. Maybe they missed true. Oh, and one more thing. The Bonekin must return to the cradle one day. But right now, they are too few to guard. Can they join the Moonkin in their tribe camp until the wounds have closed? They will pledge their crush sticks to Chieftain Akrog, as long as the, the Moonkin would be honored. Well, it is settled then. Cabrax will tell. All right. Let them look around. Interesting. Probably. No, I believe Greenskin lie. Nerbok never betray Moonkin. Little Moonblood speaks true. Hmm. What on Urgath is this? Hmm. The paper looks important. Grungwar. No. What says it? Let him see. Hmm. What? The Chainers. The pack that took Nerbok and his warriors. It seems like they were only the first fighters of a big horde. Their masters at Maratha found out what happened to the smaller horde the Moon King crushed when they first found the temple. And they are marching towards the Blackheart jungle right now. Towards the temple. This bad. No. Big shit bad, Noag. Big shit bad. Then the Moonkin must crush this Chainer horde before they reach the Blackheart jungle. Akrog speaks true, but... Uh, they should meet in the open field. But they have not enough warriors with them here. Most are still at the tribe camp. Then send back an eye. He can tell Anuk to drum up a small Moonkin horde and meet them at the foot of the axe. With the help of the Bonekin, that might be enough. Mm. Even so, why not fight them in the tribe camp? 
Because it is easier to beat an enemy that expects one not than one who does. Also, once the Chainers find out how well fortified the Temple Tribe can... Hmm. All right. Grumwar speaks true. Come, let them go back to Cabrax. Perhaps the bones have already spoken. Chief to that Krog, come. Cabrax. Chief to that Krog, good timing. The bones are... <laughs> By the Holy Hide, the bones, they... So, there was a cave in the mountains north from here. With greens, a nest of tiny greenskins must be. This is good, trusted one. Their nests stink like beak shit. Crumb's beak should have an easy time sniffing them out. Tiny greenskin slaves to in away. They are very dull-minded. What? what about Nurbok, though? Kabrak saw him. He saw him not, no. But he felt him. He is there somewhere. The question is, should they try and stop the Chainer Horde, or go look for Nurbok first? Chainer Horde? Hmm. The Moonkin found a letter from one Chainer Chieftain to another, and it looks like there is a big greenskin horde marching for the swamp near the Moonkin tribe camp. The Moonkin need to stop them before they get there and find it. A surprise attack? Then Chieftain Akrog will send for more Moonkin. Hmm. They will meet them on the way to the Chainer Horde. That could work. As to his question, both plans have their merits. The Bones sensed another great power in that nest of tiny green skins. So chances are it is likely he is part of that big Chainer Horde Akrog was speaking of. So if the Moonkin remove him, the battle might be easier. Maybe. But if the Moonkin march against the Horde first, they can also make sure the Chainers in the tiny greenskin cave get no backup. Also, the tribe camp's safety is more important than one treacherous warrior, no? Nabok is not a tri- <sighs> That Krog will think about it. For now, let them gather the warriors and leave this place. They have done what they came here for.